Hello, my name is Stuart Herbert and this is a short video demonstrating how I use Sublime Text 2 for PHP development and in this video what I'm focused on specifically is the handling of trailing white spaces. Now trailing white spaces is something that NetBeans, which I've recently switched from, never really got to grips with. and it's a small thing I know, but it's something that annoys the crap out of me, I've got to be honest. And I find I waste time editing when I find trailing white space in the way. And I'm happy to say that Sublime Text 2 handles it with a plum. So if we go to the Sublime Text 2 community packages page and we search for a component to handle trailing white space, we'll see there's two packages available when I recorded this video. There's the trailing spaces plugin, and there's also the white space corrector plugin. I'm going to be demoing the trailing spaces plugin, but I do recommend you check out the white space corrector plugin yourself. Um, it looks like it's got a bit of extra functionality and could be uh, could be well worth a look. So if we go here to Sublime Text 2, here's a file I've created earlier and you can immediately see the trailing white space it's this horrible horrible glow-in-the-dark pink that's highlighted so there's no danger of there being trailing white space that you're not aware of now one of, one of the reasons it's glow-in-the-dark pink this is a color scheme that I've created myself and the color scheme syntax allows you to actually define a color just for trailing white space which is fantastic and I've taken full advantage of that in the colour theme that I've written and that's available as a package as well by the way so you can immediately see what's there now with the trailing white space plugin installed to get rid of this all I do is hit control shift and T together and it strips them all out and they're all gone just like that clean from the file in one go. Now that's great. It's great if you open a file and it's got white space in and you want to work on it. If you want to get rid of the trailing white space first, tidies things up immensely. Now, obviously if you're working on a file, you may have left some white space in. Here's one I wrote in NetBeans. You can see this trailing white space has been left behind. By the way, it's been edited. Now imagine I'd been editing and that was in there. Okay, I can strip it off anyway, but one of the nice things about Net um sorry, Sublime Text 2 is when I save the file, I'm gonna hit Control S now, it strips the trailing white space by default. So it tidies itself up. And that's not the plugin if memory serves, I'm pretty sure that's actually built into Sublime Text 2 as its default behavior. And there you go. Much nicer. Um, and all tidied. I know trailing white space is a simple thing and most of you, if you use NetBeans or one of the other editors that has trouble with this, might not even notice it. But I do. It annoys the crap out of me. And I'm so happy that Sublime Text 2 deals with this tiny little thing. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this demo helpful.